What is the crack, lads? We are back in action in Dream Team Chronicles. So, yeah, we're going to be doing just a bit of a talk through on this one because obviously we have got a bit of news over on the official Konami website and under Twitter uh, where we are going to be getting the friend match lobby. So I want you guys uh, to let me know, would you be interested in playing matches against me in custom games? And we can do a couple of like, um, you know, a couple of like wagers and, and things like that. Um, you know, while I'm talking about this, because at the moment, I think, man, that there is a lot of issues with the gameplay and I think they're on full display in this episode, episode 30, um, which, you know, is nearly twice as many episodes we have now done in this eFootball 2022-2023 compared to all the data or all the matches that we played in the first version of the game when that came out. Uh, so in V1, I played, what, 15, 16 episodes, or I think it was like 19, 20 episodes for a finish. We get off to a good start there against this guy, Fate Ninja. Um, he wasn't a bad player, in fairness, he had a fairly decent team, but I felt like I had the beating of him on the wings, but such is the way the game plays at the moment that I was just feeling that, like, I was just not able to be set up, and you'll see over the course of this, it was a really, really frustration, frustration, frustrating session. Even that, winning the ball that back there with Makalele, that sort of stuff frustrates me, you know what I mean? Because I'm not, you know... I'm not doing anything there. Like, there is no skill in me getting the ball back there in my possession. I get a quick 1-2 with Rodrigo and Messi going. Probably should have squared it back in there. I give it out to Kimmy. Kimmy is going to try and swing it in. I do a really stupid uh, dribble move that I didn't mean to do. But, yeah, I found it hard to get going in this game. This guy was very aggressive. You know, he was pretty much playing WWE. Um... I was just finding it very hard to break him down, even though I was ripping him apart. We get an open chance there, the AI contextual block. Uh, you know, I was ripping him on the wings. Again, he wasn't really able to defend me on the wings so much. He was just kind of like sprinting past the ball. You'll see here with Rodrigo, he's kind of waiting to see what player's getting in position for him. Now, he's standing me up well, but there, he makes a huge mistake there. And he gets me. he lets me have a pop in. Gets the ball back out here. Rodrigo, I just can't get on the end of it. So it was just kind of one of these frustrating games. And then from there, you know, it's a it's a break from him. He spreads it out wide. I make a mistake here. Try to go in with the, ch the shoulder charge, which is my mistake. But then here, I mean, I'm trying to just chip the ball up here. And he just literally just kicks it knee height to his player. He squares it to Salah and it's in the back of the net. So it was that type of session for me. And... I think what's going to happen with the friendly match lobbies, lads, is because there is a kind of a, a situation where um, we are going to be able to get the get the friendly match going or the friendly match lobbies going. Uh, I don't know how that's not a penalty there, but anyway. Uh, but we are going to be able to get the friendly matches going. Um, I think it's going to be a situation where I'll be able to do a lot more stuff, like a lot of tournaments, a lot of competitions. We can have a subscriber tournament. We can have... Uh, you know maybe like a couple of leagues going at the same time if you guys would be interested I know we are working on a Pez Uni e football universe uh, tournament that we will have news on quite soon and there's going to be some really good players playing in that but yeah I just think a lot of the biggest problem at the moment is that the majority of people are trying to play to win and you know everyone plays to win but I just feel like um, the play styles that you would play to have fun and to learn the game mechanics and to just enjoy playing possession football or enjoy playing uh you know kind of like not listen i know how to play the meta if i want to, i have a couple of videos coming quite soon for formations and tactics if you want to play the meta most division one players are playing extremely simplified uh football and extremely simplified gameplay where they're literally not doing any dribbling they're not doing any fake shots they're not doing any any tricks they're not doing any uh, variety in their passing it is literally just pass 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 on the on the full pass assist and literally have the ball for like a, uh, like a second you know no real spreads like this it's literally pass 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 triangles 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 touch and go touch and go um you know have anchoring on your full backs have a formation of like you know four two or three i don't know three two four or three two five or uh three four three or something like that where you've got three central strikers and you've got you know one or two central midfielders because there is no real midfield battle at the moment there 
I just I don't want to play like that. I mean, you'll see towards the end of this video here, I start doing bags of tricks with Dembele. I've been kind of doing it the whole time where I'm just ripping people apart on the wings. And I kind of, if I had scored there, I would get more joy out of scoring a goal like that than getting to Division 1. I know I'm weird. I know that that is probably a strange thing to, think, to say, but I've already went to try-hard mode, you know, where I picked my same squad. And in eFootball 2021 or 2022... In V1.0, in my first Dream Team's Masterly or my first Dream Team Chronicle series, we did get to V, we did get to Division One with no relegations. We got back to back to back promotion all the way up from Division Twelve to Division One, and I sweated it out and I really enjoyed actually getting to Division One. But since then, I've been just trying to play some nice football, review players, play out wings, play out wide, and play play non-meta, play things that I want to play. And again, here we get a lovely chance, it's a brilliant save from him. Ball bounces back to Dembele. We have a cheeky chip up, doesn't work. Ball comes back in here and it's going to be destined to be a one-all or maybe a two-all game with this episode because there was just so many chances. He gets an, an excellent chance here with the manual goalkeeping. I didn't even need to do it because he just positions himself perfectly. That is Donnarumma and what he can do. But yeah, I just feel like we just kind of are are kind of grinding out games and grinding out and really figuring stuff out um but i just feel like the gameplay is not really rewarding anybody that wants to play different play styles do you know what i mean it's mostly about quick counter or long ball counter three strikers you know two cfs or two ss's and a cf one maybe deep lion and then just bombard forward with triangle passes all the time the minute you see a triangle on the pitch and i will be doing a, a meta video uh on that quite Quite soon i will be doing a meta formation and tactics and then i'll be doing a meta gameplay as to like what is working and what gets you wins because if you're average to a good player you can get division one play uh you can get up to division one if you want to play that style you know what i mean and for me i just want to have fun man when i'm playing it so each to everyone has their own opinions on what they want to get out of the game but yeah we get two wins, then we get two draws. We are still in Division 4. Now, this was obviously before. This was, as you can see there with the date, this was before the Division stopped. Uh, so it was from last week, but we do have some new episodes coming soon. But this is what I'm talking about with the meta, a 4-2-4. I'm playing a 5-2-3 to try and nullify that. But this is the meta that you're talking about what most people are actually playing, is a 4-2-4 or it's, you know, whatever formation that you think. And you can just see here, straight from kickoff this guy is a sweat he knows exactly what he's doing he knows exactly what the meta is over the top true ball from the kickoff it's still not really fixed and my play style is just not being rewarded even if i'm ripping him apart even if he can't defend me like i absolutely turn him inside out there and i miss miss the chance deon goes to ground before he shoots but you'll see time and time again in this game uh, there is just no real reward for how i'm playing my play style at the moment of what i want to do i do get a lucky goal here it's a nice finish uh, from Rodrigo who's been a bit of a surprise for me I've been very impressed with him he was on a form as he kisses the camera but from here I mean this guy like I, I had this guy ripped apart here on the wing he can't really defend me he's giving me freeze he's giving me this he's giving me that you know the definition of a good player in my opinion is can be broken down into two things the first one is if you're able to go out and play your game and exactly how you want it your play style whatever you want to play so he gets a second goal there uh, if you want to play your play style and you're able to win with that i think you're a good player or also you have got like the guys that are just able to win matches by any means possible so i would consider myself an average player but i would consider myself a good kind of style player in that i like doing my dribbles as you'll see towards the end of this game i like kind of having different you know patterns of attack whereas this guy was literally playing one touch or else triangles like you'll see here he holds the ball right now he's got his triangle going in the middle touch touch he's got his overlap touch in i i kind of get it out and uh, i'm able to kind of control the ball a little bit here but watch how fast he breaks me down he's got three men around me he goes in aggressively i spread it out wide again with neymar and then i take a really bad touch that was my fault but watch again when i have the ball here in a second right so this is the second half with kimmy i bought i put the ball in here he's just sliding in he doesn't have any real impact of what he's trying to do here i cut inside with a skill move he gets a contextual block he gets a contextual goalkeeper save obviously the goalkeeper and the defender should be doing that we don't want you know uh low level ai we do want it to be to doing a little bit of hand holding for you to make it realistic but you know you can see how how basic and how 
simplified his game is. It's literally when he scores, it's one touch or like triangles, and that's what it is. And again, that's not to say that this guy is not a bad a, a bad player. He's not a good player, or anything like that. We do get two goals back, but again, it's it's. It's just, it's just very hard. As I said, I, I don't want to change my entire enjoyment out of the game to winning matches. And I'm hoping that when we do get the friendly match lobbies, that when I'm playing a couple of you guys, that we can play challenges like a three-star match where we have a budget of like 500,000 to make a squad and maybe one legend. And you can actually play different styles of football because I don't want to be posting up if I'm playing friendly match lobbies. I'm not going to be posting up a guy that's playing a 4-2-4, you know, like full bar pass assist uh, meta kind of gameplay you know what I mean because to me I want to have a challenge of different game styles and being able to you know stop somebody that plays five at the back or stop somebody that plays three up front or stuff like that so we do get off to a good start here in this match this guy obviously just asleep at the back he passed it out to Romario and Romario doesn't miss him there but I, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about like me playing my style. You know, it's 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 a variety of passes. It's a variety of spreading it around. Obviously, everyone likes to play different. Um, but for me, it's all about the tricks. It's all about the dribbles. It's all about how you know to destroy people on the wings. You can see here with Dembele, absolutely rinsing through people, doing tricks, doing skills. That's what I enjoy, man. That's what I enjoy. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I wanted to be a skill fest or anything like that, but it's the tight control, it's the deft touches, it's the running into space, waiting for chances to open up. That's kind of how I like to play. Um, and you'll see here with Dembele as well, you know, it's just kind of tricks, beating people for pace, be beating people for trickery. Um, and then obviously them, them just be struggling position-wise to get back. So Dembele is a bit of a baller, lads. He will be getting a review very, very soon. I think he's one of the best winners in the game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, lads. We will be back with a couple of live ones lately or that are more recent. But yeah, we win, we win that match and we do need one point to remain or five to get up to Division 3. So we'll be back with Episode 31 quite soon to get up to Division 3 and then we're going to have the reset as well. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.